Hello, a lot of white powder fell out on the street. It motivated me to record a review of my new gaming GPU, which of course I didn't buy new, but as an experienced PC user decided to save some money and hit the jackpot. Such a good, sinewy jackpot. I bought the graphics card not from some normal store, but from my favorite AliExpress. It's a legendary GTX 1050 Ti, unfortunately not from MSI, with 1GB of memory. Yes, it's legendary because it's a limited edition version. Only me and the 20 lucky people who managed to buy one have it. Well, let's honor their and probably my money. Why? This you will find out a little later. Let's go straight to the specifications of this graphics card. GTX 1050 Ti 1G Mining Graphics Card Turns out that it's suitable for mining VGA, DVI, HDMI But it is there, it's clearly visible There are no questions here The maximum resolution of the monitor is 2K, very impressive You can see right away that you bought the berry Though a little sluggish one, but nothing The main thing is that you can mine at a loss on it Or surf on white powder Let's pickle it well, I think it's enough, it's marinated, it's time to stick it into the computer and test in mining and gaming, only the extra marinade needs to be washed off. After all, in case anyone didn't know, marinade suppresses many germs. And given where this video card comes from, it needs to be marinated very well. By the way, you will not find an inscription on the box that this is 1050 Ti. There is only the Witcher on it. Let's start checking the GPU with it then. Stable 20 FPS at minimum resolution on this card can be obtained. Damn, why does it make so much noise? It says here smart fan control. I guess somewhere a sly seller tricked me. I tried to make the resolution of the game a little bit higher, but the GPU couldn't withstand the load and the game crashed. What the hell? What did I pay 65 bucks for? Okay, it's probably The Witcher is wrong. Anyway, I bought this GPU to destroy lobbies in CSGO, not to play something like Witcher. So I will launch the CS. Weird, I haven't seen something like this before in CS, probably another useless update ruined everything. Okay, maybe it will pass with time. I'm going to play Dust 2. God, for how many times? That's exactly what is waiting for you if you will buy the legendary 1050Ti with 1GB of memory. The autopsy revealed that it's not 1050 at all. I wasn't kidding about this being a limited version, the chip here is labeled like GTS 450. It has no SLI connector, the board is stolen from GTX 550 and there is no additional power, although the original GTS 450 consumes over 100 watts. This means that the GPU is running at lower voltages or lower frequencies. This is what CPU-Z shows. They write that this is a fake 1050 Ti, but that's obvious. I knew I was buying an exclusive, of course, but I didn't think that it is so exclusive. It's not even a GTS 450, it's a damn thing based on it. No normal BIOS from GTS 450 will install on this graphics card, though I haven't tested it, but I'm 100% sure of it. Like look, it doesn't require additional power, so the card consumes at most 75 watts from PCIe slot. Meanwhile, original card consumes more than 100. This means that if by some miracle we will install the original BIOS from GTS 450 here, then under load, this card will shut down due to the lack of power. Also, I couldn't find such a configuration of the brand, memory, chip markings on the internet. This is the second reason why the BIOS from a normal GPU will not work here. Only games that use less than 1GB of video memory work on it. Yes, if the game uses more than 1GB of video memory, the game crashes. That is, normally with this GPU you can only play games that came out before 2012. Well, or in some indie projects. By the way, I solved the puzzle and figured out how to avoid crashes in CSGO with this GPU. Before you go to the server, you need to set to the minimum your graphics settings and resolution. Only after that I was able to connect to the game, and after I connected, I set the resolution to normal. Same thing with Witcher, on minimum graphics settings it works, but it's only worth just a little bit to raise the resolution, this game immediately crashes. In short, this is so far the biggest bottle that I managed to buy on AliExpress. My fatal mistake was buying this graphics card immediately after the purchase of the phone, money for which I successfully sued. And then you will understand why, now let me show you my desperate struggle for 65 hard earned dollars. As with the phone, I showed that the box had not been opened by me. I showed the shipping address, and in an expedited fashion I start unpacking the product. 
I cut out everything unnecessary so as not to waste your time, but I leave the key points. Then I put the card in the computer. I start up the computer, it shows picture, this is good, and start installing drivers through GeForce Experience. But the drivers from 1050Ti can't be installed. That is, they are installed, but the program doesn't respond to click. Then I decided to reboot the computer. I thought that after that it would work, but it didn't. Even the resolution of the screen didn't change. After that I went to official NVIDIA site and downloaded drivers directly. Before that I showed the Chinese that I intended to download drivers for legendary 1050Ti just in case they forget what video card I bought. In general, during the installation of drivers, the screen went out. I waited for about 3 minutes, then rebooted the computer, the resolution didn't change. Next, my ass was on fire. I opened GPU-Z program and showed that the chip was detected as GF116, showed the original and fake 1050Ti screenshot from GPU-Z, then turned off the computer, took the video card out of the system and showed it with the 1050Ti written on it. No serial number, by the way, I am not a lawyer, of course, but I think that any GPU should have a serial number on it. I took the video card apart and showed the chip markings. On the top I wrote in Chinese that the original GTX 1050Ti should have a chip labeled GP107. Then from the bottom of my heart I put MX4 thermal paste. On the chip, I assembled the video card back together and put it in the computer. I searched the chip markings again on the internet. I showed that the chips with these markings were used in GTS 450. Next went to AliExpress and opened a dispute on the grounds of counterfeit and that I wanted every cent back. I just added the video and screenshots showing that the card was positioned as 1050Ti and wrote everything what was happening in the video. Created a dispute and waited for the seller's reply. For 4 days straight I hadn't got any info from the seller. Hours are left before the dispute is closed in my favor, but he suddenly wakes up and answers me the following. The chip is clearly written in the details on the product, and the buyer, they say, is really dumb because bought it without paying attention. If the buyer doesn't want it, you can return it and get your money back. No, well, look what a sly seller I got. He even, you see, attached the screenshot with proof. That's when I thought, well, my time has come. That is my time to shine. Now I'm going to destroy him. Of course, I refused his offer and made a video. After all, I clearly remember that at the time of ordering the product, the description didn't say so. I showed the ad of the crafty seller I bought the GPU from and where there is no such a paragraph. Then I placed the order, I went into the order details and suddenly out of nowhere this paragraph appeared. I loaded the proof with the thought, well, now they will see, they are going to put the seller on the bottle. I also added two duplicate screenshots of what was going on and then I changed my mind. Forgetting that this is not a chat, but a place for an argument and I am writing absolute nonsense. Perhaps that's my mistake, you will see later, in general, the seller doesn't change his mind. I refuse it as usual. I again tried to chat in the dispute, I guess at some point my emotions got the better of my common sense and I wrote nonsense again. Also I made another video in which I showed that this GPU is compatible with the drivers from GTS 450. Anyway, the AliExpress demons came and delivered their verdict. My ass was on the fire again, and at that moment I realized that I will never see my money back. I came to the conclusion that those who check the dispute are idiots. We need to do something. In short, I refused the verdict of AliExpress and uploaded some more evidence and video testing of this GPU in the game where you can see that none of the normal games normally cannot run. Also added pictures of the fact that the video card has no serial number. Once again I changed my mind and wrote that the video card doesn't work at the declared frequencies. The fact that the video card has no serial number, that it doesn't have CE certificate. In addition, it couldn't play any modern games and my biggest trump card, as I thought, was to write to Nvidia technical support where I explained to them whole situation and after sending screenshots of the GPU I asked, is my purchase a fake? The answer was yes. No matter what anyone says and no matter how much they hate Nvidia, their technical support is very good. 
My respects, it took them literally 13 minutes to respond. That's a huge respect for them, I hope they get paid well, because I really didn't expect such a fast respond. Thought they would ignore it, seeing that I didn't even buy this crap from a normal vendor. I filmed all of this and deployed it as a proof. And what do you think? Long story short, they decided to refund me only 14 bucks. As I suspect, they didn't even look at my new evidence. So I filed an appeal, which has already been reviewed and they told me to get lost. So here we go. I will not get the money back for this capitalized GPU. There is practically no point in buying such GPUs for the sake of getting them for free. After all, on the secondary market, live copies of the GTS 450 are sold almost for free. And my god, how many of them are made by Palit? In short, it is not worth it. You've seen how many pounds of evidence I've poured into the details of argument, and how much effort did I put in it, and in the end I was told to get lost. The GPU itself is very bad, I don't understand how the Chinese have the conscience to sell this stuff. At least they would have made a normal bias or at least games wouldn't crush. In general, you got the idea, do not eat yellow snow and goodbye.